Ladies and gentlemen, a brief update from the Kerbal Space Program. Welcome back, everybody. I'll be getting back to the chair in, in a little bit, but first of all, I'd like to show you something. Um, as you can see, the game looks a little bit different than that it did in the last episode. I have updated the graphics in the game uh, with a mod called the Astronomer's Visual Pack. It's not just a, t uh, a texture pack like last time, actually. This time, I've added a bit more from that single pack. The clouds are independent from the surface of the planet, for example, so if I were to speed up time, you could see the clouds moving independently. So, planets now have clouds in them, and updated textures. This one in particular is designed to make um, Kerbal look more like Earth in this case, so that's pretty fun. Um, there are some other places that have changed, too. Uh, let's see if I can find a good example. Let me zoom out and go to a, a dramatic example, in this case... Let's try going over to Eve. Eve looks a bit different than last time, as you can tell. Originally, you could see the planet's surface features, but now it's completely covered in clouds, just like the real world Venus. So that makes it a little bit more challenging to land on, but very fun to see. In fact, it looks really cool from the surface, too. Let's take a look. So now the clouds are a little bit more defined. In fact, once again using our Venera probe here, we can take a look at the clouds in motion as we sit here. Well, maybe a little bit slower, that might be kind of more interesting to look at. I think because we're so close to the poles of the Earth, uh, or rather the pole of Venus with this landing uh, gear, the entire surface feature, or rather the clouds, seem to spiral around the North Pole, which is a really, really cool effect, actually. I'm actually very glad that I managed to land uh, Venera here. You could even see dust rolling around the surface of the planet, too. I don't think it actually affects this uh, lander's ability to be here, for example, which is why I'm not worried about it being toppled over due to the... Uh, due to the high winds. But, it makes the worlds, or the solar system, a lot more scenic, which should hopefully th make things more interesting to look at uh, from a viewer's perspective. So, I'm going to head back on onto the Space Center, and I'm going to make one more announcement while we're at it. This is going to be a little bit of a short episode, but uh, it's actually going to involve pulling you, the audience. I... I'm going to continue my mission to Charon. In fact, as of the next episode, I will be going on to do my other Charon missions. But, there's another mission I'd like to set in motion, too. And it's actually a little bit closer to home, but it involves all of you, the viewers. Let's see. It also involves Minmus. Now, Minmus, a lot of people on the uh, comment section, or at least a few of you, uh, I'm not sure who's still watching this at this point, quite frankly, but still. Um, those of you who are interested mentioned the idea of putting space stations or a space colony on Minmus. And I think that that's actually a really cool idea. So, I want to begin working on one. Specifically, I am going to build a colony, a small one, that's going to land on the surface of Minmus and stay there and house several Kerbals. I'm probably going to put it on these flat, uh, on the flat surface regions, like the one that I have here in the center with the little island in the middle of it. So I'm going to be aiming for those regions. The reason why you, the viewers, come into play is because, dear viewers, I would like you to make proposals. I want to hear what you would have to say if I were to build a colony. What sort of thing should I put at that colony? What sort of features should be available there? What sort of features would you like me to see put on the surface of this planet? Is there anything in particular that you may enjoy? Now, I would like to hear your answers on this, so please, if you can, comment on the, uh, on the page here. Let me know what you think. If there's any features or any extra things that you think a permanent space little village or colony on the planet should have. Maybe something like a... Um, like a rover, for example, or like a couple of houses. Uh, I would also like to pull you guys on what you think a good name for such a village would be on uh, Minmus. Village, village, space colony, whatever you'd like to call it. Uh, try to come up with something original, something that you think might be fitting for being on uh, Minmus. Um, and the top winner or rather, the one that I think that I like the best, the colony will be named after. So, the colony will be named after the one that I think 
fits the idea of a space colony on Minmus the most. Uh, I'll open up the informational bar here on Minmus just in case you want to see some any additional information. Uh, but to make sure that nobody feels left out, I'm going to say something else. And that actually brings me back out to the uh, astronaut complex. For every person who puts in a vote for uh, a name, I will send a Kerbal out there to represent them in that colony. So we have Curdo, Gregdus, Guzman, Gilbert, and so on. So here's what I'd like you to do. If you are interested in joining up for this endeavor, I would like to recommend that you guys give um, a suggestion for a name. Name one of these Kerbals that you see here on screen. We have Curdo, Gregdus, Gusman, Gilbert, Guske, Jomen, Bilgun. Bilgun's a cool name. Uh, Thompson, Hutto, Gilfert, uh, Sigden, Hadwin, and Munberry. The only people I don't suggest sending out are Jebediah, Kerman, and Bob Kerman because they are sort of like the main character. So I'd like you guys to pick some other character other than Bob and Jebediah. So, I would like you to list, uh, if you were interested, or rather suggest, a name, pick a Kerbal, and also say whether or not you would like that Kerbal to be a permanent resident of Minmus, or if you'd like them to be a, a temporary resident, like someone who stays there for a little bit and then leaves. So, like... Maybe if you wanted them to stay around on Minmus for a bit, but then later go to some other place or return back to Kerbal. Or if you'd like to have your Kerbal stay there, um, that's fine too. So I'd like to get uh, started on this project pretty soon. I'm going to be releasing a few more episodes of Kerbal Space Program first before I get started, just because I want to wrap up my work with uh, Charon to send it to Eve and then work on this uh, colony while we're getting to Eve. And plus it'll give the viewers more time to make suggestions. So feel free to say those things again. Again, that's going to be um, um, the name that you might suggest for a colony, a Kerbal. Whether or not you uh, want that Kerbal to be able to return or be a permanent resident, or... yeah. And maybe if you're interested, maybe, I would love to see what you guys think about uh, colonies in the first place, so maybe an example of why you would go to that colony? I don't know. Be creative with your answers. I, I encourage it. Uh, anyway, that's about it for this update. Um, so, there you go. Um, hopefully that gets people interested. Uh, until then, everyone, um, until we resume this project, I'll be going back to Charon in the next episode. So, until then, everyone, this is Ardwick. Stay tuned, and good night.